I've been in the finance and mortgage business for 24 years, um, but I know there's lots of innovation out there, especially in today's uh, economy and stuff. The thing I worry about, so the only other solution that I've got is that if you got you bought it from me for obviously 1.8 plus the closing costs or whatever the case may be that are incurred there i i have no way to collect the other three hundred thousand dollars that that i'm owed you know what i mean like there's so essentially you're you guys would be shorting me 300 grand because i have no way to to collateralize and in in that house because you're not wanting to do a second lien I know you mentioned you have a HELOC. Have you ever thought about refinancing that HELOC? If you have a, a million dollars in equity in your home, uh, have you ever thought about, like, because you in Texas, you can go up to 80% on a cash out refinance. Did you guys look at that rates? Yeah, no, we looked at it. The, the issue is that um, I think uh, they're, they're all going to require an appraisal. Um, and uh, because of the property type, um, I think. I mean, we could certainly try, but when we looked at it, we were in a time crunch and that wasn't a possibility, you know? Because yeah, um, for right now, the property type's still residential, correct? Like on, on his home, no, no zoning's been changed. Correct. So, I mean, they would look at it as a Fannie Mae, you know, uh, 1004 appraisal with a regular single family property with some acreage refinance I would imagine on a Texas you know a6 cash out or whatever they're calling them now yeah I mean we could certainly take a look at that and, and the, the, so, so for sure I'll, I'll, I'll revisit that that's just going to take some time you yeah know? I mean they're, they're fairly quick you know I've, I've, I've been doing he walks probably about you know, 10 14 days turn time you know typically um, but I mean obviously it's gonna take some time now um, would it be? What if we did do a? If you did a second on that on that property, like a, a, a seller finance for the twenty for the twenty percent, and but then you would be recording it, you know, on you know your property, right? The, the sale, and then would that make you? Would that work? Well, the, the problem is financing to an individual versus a company is obviously drastically different because you, just like protecting yourself, you could, you know, if you if just say hypothetically wax out on the deal with you, yeah. you, you could liquidate that LLC and I'd just be out versus a person having to file bankruptcy or something like that. So kind of changes yeah. how that system goes too. Um, my, my lawyer mentioned that... Uh, you know, I might be able to put a, a, a just like a, a lien on as if I load them money and collateralize it by there because, you know, putting a second to sell in the house to you is illegal. So I can't give him a second lien on a house he doesn't own. You know what I mean? And so right. uh, right. illegal may not be the word like as if it's a crime, but it's you can't do it. And so um, but he still owns his house. So I have the potential to maybe put a third lien on his home, but my lawyer mentioned the same thing. It's probably 15 days or so, plus, you know, uh, but I have to incur some some uh, attorney fees for him to draw up all the notes and everything. Uh, I have a call scheduled with him for after this. So it would be, it would be essentially like I loaned you 300 grand or 325, whatever that number is. And it's secured by your house that you currently own and uh, the Salina house would have to be sold at like, you know, 1.8 1, 1 plus y'all pay closing costs. And then the, the home that you sell, when you sell it, then they would pay me third lien position. So you've got your mortgage your HELOC and then me. And so they would want to do, well, we would want to make sure that A, the equity is really there. B, the, the other lenders will, you know, in the event of foreclosure, the other lenders will make sure that we're paid in a subordinate lien. So it just takes a couple weeks to do that. Um, but that's the, uh, the really the only other possibility. So we have a choice between, you know, a Texas A6 cash out and, and with money out of his home that route, since it's still zoned to single family or we in either way it looks like it's going to be 14 days or so or we uh 
we put a third lien on your personal home if I gave you the gift of equity or cash or whatever the case may be in a third lien position on that. So um, obviously the best thing for me, if we were gonna take another two weeks, if it was possible, would be the cash out on his on his property because at that point it could probably cover everything, I imagine. If you got a million dollars, then it's probably gonna give you four hundred, three hundred thousand dollars in cash back doing that after paying off your your existing HELOC. So I'm guessing, I, I don't know exactly, but I'm guessing. So you might be able to get in and out of the whole thing that way. Then the only issue I could see there potentially is um, I may have broke my income down too far last year. So since we're self-employed, we have to play the game. I wasn't planning on making any large purchases this year. So I wrote it way down where we're probably not going to qualify for uh, a refi on traditional financing. Well, it would be, uh, and that's, that's, that's the other part in terms of, you know, just walking into, uh, you know, doing a, you know, a paper, uh, uh, HELOC. Um, but there are, you know, there is on, there's private money that does seconds as well, you know, and, um, We'd have to look at that. I, I, I looked at that a little bit uh, right out of the gate, and were they only willing to lend like fifty percent of the appraisal? That was to do a uh, a new first and second oh. combining combining just take out you know both loans and sign one position. Um, you know, I can I can revisit that um, and get some answers uh, within the next twenty four hours on that. Um, yeah. Okay, and let Wait, me. What, so what? I Sorry, was going to say, and let me talk to uh, my attorney, and um, and see. He he was telling me last night he had a solution, but he wanted me to talk with you guys first. So let me see what his solution might be uh, as far as paperwork and timing and stuff. I'll talk to him within the next hour or so. And uh, so if you'll run your route, see what you've got there on that private money thing, I'll run my route over here and see what my attorney says. And, you know, the only thing I would I would imagine, and it's probably not going to be that expensive, I figure five grand or less, the attorney fees obviously in, incurred yeah, from, from that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm happy to cover those if that, if that, you know, if that works this out quickly and gets everybody closed and moving on yeah because i'm 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 willing yeah. to take like a third on your house and and you know we just have the same note that we have for seller financing but put that against your place sell this place to, and then when you sell your home in a, a month 45 days 60 days or so you'll make payments to me until that's paid off i'm i'm okay with doing that so i just you yeah i think so i do have to I, i'll have to double uh, confirm this with my warehouse lines just to just to make sure that, that all will work out, but the, I don't see uh, on, on that on Ryan on your third lien it, it didn't necessarily mean I have to sell my house if I can if I can because I have other revenues coming in uh, that may happen you know sooner than that so I could pay you off with other money right yeah of course yeah, I've got some spec houses and some lots on the on the market right now and those may end up selling quicker than our house does yeah i mean the faster i can get it any way i can get it i don't care i'll release the lien so yeah i i mean that sounds i feel really confident that we can pay that that lien within you know within 45 days if we can if we you know that route okay let me get with my lawyer okay. and see what all it takes there and i'll call you back okay sounds great all right thank you all right thanks guys bye, bye.